Hey, welcome everyone. It's John the Net Guy, and on today's show, we're going to be doing a refill of the ink containers on the Eco Tank ET3760. Now, process is the same whether you have the ET3760, ET4760, or ET2760, or even similar models to that. I'm going to lift up and lock this area open. Now we've printed a lot. I, I can't tell you exactly how many because I actually have to replace the ink before it'll let me print out a status page, but I'm gonna put the number right here of the number of black, right here for the number of color, and over here I'm gonna put the number of cents per page it's cost us in color and cents per page in black. So far this has been a really good printer. Now there are a few people that are gonna tell you some things that are not great about it, uh, one, there is a catch container that will catch the excess ink when it's doing its cleaning and head cleaning. But you can see my wife has used it for printing hundreds and hundreds of pages uh, a month and it's worked really, really well. So let's get started. First things first, let's open the ink well. Now I'm going to refill all the color inks and I'm going to refill the black. Now Amazon sells this 502 ink refill kit. This is for the color tanks and they have a different one for the black. Now I'll put that model number as well. They are individually sealed and you can literally not make a mistake here because they're individually keyed as well. So the tanks will not let you put the wrong color in the wrong area. I'm going to start outward and in. I'm going to start out with the yellow. I simply open up the yellow and press down. Now it's going to automatically fill as much as it can and then it's going to stop. Now save this container because it's going to have a little bit left in it so if it starts to run low again you can fill it up but it's recommended to fill them all the way full on each one here. Now it's supposed to be a no drip, no spill, no mess. It's almost to the top there. Okay and it stopped automatically. So I'm going to lift up and pull this one away. I'm going to put the lid on it. And you can see there's probably a fifth or a quarter, just under a quarter, maybe 20% left. The next one we're going to do is the magenta. Same thing, just point it down. It's not going to spill. And let it fill itself. It's going to be self-venting here. Okay, and that one's full to the top. Pick it up, turn it over, and we'll cover this one back up. The next one is the cyan, or cayenne. Now my wife has used this printer exclusively in our homeschool room, and like I said, it's printed out hundreds and hundreds of sheets. Now, if you look closely at this one, you'll see there's some lines, very small striation lines across, which means I also need to do a print head cleaning. She doesn't do that very often. And it is recommended that you don't do the print head cleaning too often on these because there is an ink catch basin that it dumps a lot of the extra ink as it's purging. And that one, when it's full, can disable the printer. Now there's a way to fix it. I'll go into that later. But um, that's something to think about is you don't want to do the print head cleaning too often uh, if it's not necessary. So that's full of the cayenne. Now, the last one we're going to do is the black levels because we want to get that up. I'm going to go grab those. Now this black does not come with the color set. You have to buy the black set separately. But if you do a lot of black printing, then you can use this individually so you can buy just the colors or the blacks depending on what you need. It's the same process here as when we originally set up the printer so I'm going to unscrew it. And the black well is a lot larger than the rest of them so we're going to see how that thing fills up. Okay now that's filled up and I'm going to go through the menus here with you on the printer. So I've filled all of the inkwells back to the very top. I'm going to close this, make sure all those caps are down, and I'm going to close the top of the printer. 
Then I'm going to go through here and it's asking us to fill the ink tanks up to the upper line and then we'll say next. Select the colors you refilled. We have black, cayenne, magenta, and yellow. I'm going to select the black, cayenne, magenta, and yellow. And what's interesting is it go down to hit reset. So I had to go down arrow to reset. Okay. Reset complete. Make sure that there's enough ink in the ink tanks. If the ink levels are below the line, refill ink and reset the levels. Okay. Very basic. So we're ready to go. Now on this one, because I've been having some problems with the lines I showed you in the prints, I'm going to go ahead and do maintenance. I'm going to go ahead and do a print head cleaning and that should be really good, but I'm going to do a, a nozzle check first. So it's ready. It says load some paper in. We'll check those nozzles here. Now this printer will shut down and it will not let you print, not let you scan, not let you do anything until you've got an appropriate amount of ink in there. And it shut down with a little bit of ink left in each tube. Okay, so this nozzle's doing okay. I wanna show you this real quick here. So this, where you see any gaps or the lines are broken, that means that the nozzle's clogged right here where that black is. And then as well, just on the magenta and the cyan in the corner. So there's definitely a need for a cleaning. So we have printed 4,335 pages with color and 884 black and white pages. So that's an amazing amount. There's 53 blank pages, total of 53,000. And uh, auto document feeder has fed 50 sheets. Okay, so now that we've seen some of those, so it's here, it's asking me to select the pattern that I've seen. Now I've seen some brokenness, so I'm gonna go over here to the X and it's gonna recommend that we do a print head cleaning, which I recommend as well. We'll hit okay. And now it's gonna go through the process of cleaning the print heads. So now it's done cleaning the print head and it's asking if we wanna do a nozzle check. And I'm gonna say, yes, we do. And it's asking us to put a piece of paper in and now it's going to print out a test page to show us how the nozzles are. And this is gonna be really useful to see if that one single print head cleaning that I did was enough to fix the striations that we were seeing in the prints. So this printer's printed over 4,300 full color pages my wife has done. Now, it's getting a little bit better, but if you can look here, there's a piece of the black missing and a piece of the magenta. It cleared the cayenne up. So we're going to do one more cleanup here and we'll let it print. So now it's done the second of it, two cleaning passes here. And I'm going to actually do a nozzle check real quick. We're going to print that out and we're going to see if that's cleaned up any of the issues that it was having with uh, print quality. Perfect. There we go. Now that's what we were looking for is a complete row of blacks and all of the colors look just spot on excellent. That means this printer is ready to go back in business. Now, a lot of you guys have asked me questions about it. Why didn't I cover the ADF and the scanning process? Why didn't I cover the ink catch box and the fact that that can fill up and kind of ruin your day and uh, brick your printer if you have used up the ink catch box? And those will be coming in a follow-up video. I did want to show you real quick. One of the issues I'm having with this printer here is actually with the auto document feeder. So I'm going to put a few documents in the top that I want to scan, supposedly. And I'm going to tell it to scan them. So I'm going to go back home and I'm going to tell it to go to scan, scan. And I'm going to scan it to the cloud. And I'm going to pick my destination and I'm going to put it in my Google Drive. And this is how cool this printer really is. It can do direct scanning to the cloud. Now you have an option to scan to email. 
This one's working now, but when I do a single sheet scan to the cloud, it was not working really well, uh, at least not consistently. So it looks like this part's working, which I like. Um, but yeah, you have the option to scan to an email address or many email addresses. You can have all your kids listed in there, and if somebody needs something, they can send it directly to them. Or you can go to OneDrive or Google Drive. So that is one of the features that I really liked about this printer, and I didn't cover it in, in much detail, was the ability to scan to the cloud the items that we have here. The other thing is just reliability. You know, the printer is very cumbersome when you're using the front panel buttons. And so that's been something that's kind of annoying is uh, my wife constantly tries to press on the screen still. So that's another thing about it. The paper capacity is pretty low. I'll put it right here. How many sheets exactly you can put in? I think it's 150. And, you know, that's one thing that, you know, we are constantly filling it up with paper. But in general, it has become the workhorse of our house. If I had to choose again, the ET2760 looks really, really good. Same basic features, the same eco tank, same uh, actual ink exactly. A little bit slower on the printing, but it does come with that front SD card slot and it has the rear feeder. So I'm gonna get a, an ET2760 here and I'll do a full review on that. But this has been how to refill the ink on your Epson EcoTank printer. This is John the Net Guy. Thanks for watching.